Hey, hey, all you mechanical maniacs, Hurst Quasar here. Welcome back to another Barn Bargains and Other Cheap Challenges. Well, I have to say, um, unfortunately, um, this is going to be... Um, this is going to be kind of a lame episode, so just to go ahead and hit that subscribe button right now. <laughs> um, uh, the problem is that I have been to the junkyard so many times, and to the auction house quite a few times, that I failed to uh, secure parts for my Lotus, and it's getting rather bothersome. So... Um, and, you know, it, because I have been so fixated over this car right here and trying to get it done, I haven't really um, paid much mind to my, my trash-to-track uh, rod over here, uh, unfortunately. Uh, so, uh, we're going to do uh, a couple of quick things. I am going to go back out. What I have been doing is I've been hitting the car auctions. So let's go ahead and hit that one time and see what we can find there. All right, so the Kowalski salvage car. So I usually bounce into here and just kind of breeze through here. What I'm looking for is another Lotus right, right here, standard Lotus. All right, cool. Um, we got it. So let's go ahead and see what the condition is. And usually the conditions are in such rough shape that it's not even worthwhile buying. So like this one, it's got a few parts. Um, oh, it does have an engine head, but it's kind of hard to... Uh, we can't, we are not going to really know. Um, idler, roller, 7% there, cam gear, 7%, serpentine, idler, roller, 17%, timing cover, 7%. So, I don't know for a fact what the head is going to be like on this thing. So, um, that's one thing. Um, two, I do have the upper suspension arm. Um, I did. I was able to find that. So lucky enough. So we've got this car. Um, I think there might be. Let's see how many miles are on it. It's uh, 129,000 miles. But this is, this thing looks like it's it's been put through hell and looks like it's been wrecked up a little bit. So we don't really care for the car. We just want some of the parts off of it, right? So this is going to be like a donor car. Um, estimated values at six grand. I doubt that I'll get under six grand. I mean, cross your fingers and cross your toes, but um, yeah, it's not going to happen. But uh, we'll give it a shot. So we are going to go bidding on this. I'm not going to go more than I'll say 7,500 for this car, and I'll make up the cash elsewhere. So let's go ahead and start bidding. See if I can get any. Um, see if I can win this bad boy. Again, it may all be for nothing because that head, that's what I'm looking for is the head for this thing. And if I don't, if it's not, if it's not um, any good and I can't repair it, then I might be in rough shape. Okay, there's seven grand. Okay, that's my last bid right there, 76. Yep, and I want it. All right, so I didn't want to go over 7,500, but uh, that's okay. So we're going to send that to the garage. Um, just for giggles, we'll go ahead, and I should have just went ahead and looked to see if there was anything else. Um, there isn't another. Thank God. I would have kicked myself in a butt for that one. So let's go back to the garage real quick. All right, we'll take a quick step outside here and see just how much in the hole I'm in. Like, I'm under, in the hole already, like $1,500, $1, right? So let's go ahead and... We are going to make that up real quick. We are going to head out to the junkyard. So let's go see what we can find out in the rust and dust. Alright, so the hunt is on. So this is... All I'm doing out here this time around is just finding a car that has a, a pretty good profit margin on it. And we'll take it in and we'll, we'll turn around and we're going to sell it. So here's a truck. This is a... Uh, this is a Hearst Quasar Special Chop. Nope, I guess it isn't. Um, okay, look at this. It's already worth nine grand. The buy price is seven grand. We're buying it. We're buying it, and uh, we're putting it in the garage. All right. Um, let's see if there's anything else out here worthwhile. I don't have many spots, but that was like that was pretty good timing right there. Um, okay. So this one, the Nissan, and the buy price is eleven. It's only worth ten. I would have lost my butt on that one. So yeah, that's that wasn't going to happen. If I could find me another Lotus out here, that would be cool. Um, 
All right, so the Rock Bunny. Rock Bunny's a buy price. Ooh, look at that. That is a nice markup right there. Uh, 10 grand, about 2,000 bucks. Uh, let's see, where can I put that? Um, I can. I gotta put it in car parking. That's fine, we're gonna put it in car parking anyway because that's gonna make me some cash. And that's all I'm looking for is just to make, some, make up some cash because they, they took me to the cleaners on that Lotus and I probably won't be able to get any parts off of it, quite honestly. It's probably gonna be you know, not worth my while, but we'll see. Uh, nice little hot rod here. Uh, buy price for 10, only worth nine. That's a no-go for me. walking around here that, that bad boy right there that looks almost like a Christine right there <laughs> um, like a uh, 59 Plymouth Fury uh, and I think that's it all right all right cool all right let's get back to the garage and let's uh let's cash in on this shall we all right so for my truck right here uh, we are going to take this bad boy and the miles were like really high on it anyway what we're gonna do is we're gonna send it over and give it a bath now why are we giving it a bath before we sell it well it, it increases the profit margin believe it or not so let's take a look here all right we're good for 1755 right so let's go ahead and give it a bath <laughs> pretty colors Go ahead and clean up the interior on it. Now, what is it worth? Look at that. So, seventeen fifty-five. Um, seventeen fifty-five. I gained three four hundred bucks just by washing it. So, right there, that's my profit that I've lost in my last, my last. Um, <laughs> the last auction where they screwed me uh, so but so because I've got so much in there um, what I can do is take a look here I could probably um, send you back over um, swap you with the Smith and Wesson here we don't have a good motor in this because well this motor is the um, the V8, so I can't use the transmission, but I probably could use the drive shaft on it for the hot rod. So I'm gonna grab the drive shaft off this thing. It's already got wheels and tires, so not a big deal. This has a nice set of, could it be a nice set of wheels and tires on it, but uh, we're not gonna use that. So let's go ahead and use, I'm gonna grab the drive shaft off this thing. I wish I found some other cars like this. So I've got the drive shaft. So the drive shaft was what? Drive shaft's at 18%. So I'm going to take that and I'm going to dump it into the trash to track Lotus parts. Um, or the trash to track project parts right there. So that's where we're going to dump that. Okay, we needed that anyway. So that's good. Um, we could possibly use some other pieces off here let's see how are we how are we doing for okay we're down to 1975 so this is what I'm doing is I'm and I'm scavenging some pieces at the same time um, but yeah you know what I'm just gonna sell it I'm gonna make the cash and I'm gonna move on because I think well wait a minute hang on these U-bolts are kind of hard to come by sometimes. So let's see just how, um, let's see how, how bad off are they? Okay, so one of them is in good shape. Okay, both those are in decent shape. Both the arms. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to take... I'm taking some I'm taking some of these U-bolts. Alright. Um, 
Just take a couple of U-bolts off here. I could take the others, but okay, so let's see. We're at 1964, so I don't want to lose sight of... Um, I think this one was the one that's in decent shape. Yeah, 19%. Okay, so the rest of it is pretty much trash underneath there. Um, anything on the front end I could take? I don't think so. Um, I don't think... Man, both them A-arms in bad shape. <clears throat> wow. Okay, so we're we'll check that out. So, like this one right here, right? You take that arm off. Upper suspension arm. I don't take a wheel off. <clears throat> Oh, excuse me. And I already have an upper suspension arm. So this is what I'm going to do. We've already got a few pieces off it that I think I'm going to need. Uh, it doesn't have the engine. If it had a V8 engine in it, I'd take that transmission in a heartbeat. Um, but it does not. So with that in mind, we are going to sell it for a cool profit of 1959. Gandhi. All right, um, our next project car, or our next car that we had in there, was the FA200. I'm going to move that into the garage. Uh, where'd it go? There it is. So the FA200 actually has a nice profit of 2342. So let's go ahead and clean her up. Kind of look at the wheels. Maybe I could use those wheels on the hot rod, but I don't really think so. I think they're in pretty sad shape. Uh, go ahead and clean up the interior. There we go. Um, and let's see here. Now look at the value. Twenty-eight eighty-five. That's how much profit we're going to pull out of this bad boy. Um, I don't think I want to pull any parts off this, to be quite honest with you. It's just going to be a straight up sell. So yeah, we're going to sell it off. Cha-ching, it's all about the mighty dollar. So yeah, we've got uh, a few parts. And now, um, let's step out here and bring our hot rod. Oh, let, let's hang on. Let's uh, bring our Lotus in. Now let's go give it a bath first. Because, you know, okay, so I'm out, like, I'm out, I was out the 15, 13, right? So let's see how close we can get to, I've already made up my profit, or I already made up my, my loss with the two junk cars. Um, at least, I think it actually, just one of them actually pulled it off for me. So this one will be like my donor car for everything. So we're going to move that into car lift number one. And I don't think there's anything on here that I can actually use, to be quite honest with you. Um, does it have... Oh my gosh, it's got a fuel pump. But the fuel pump's... Oh, the fuel pump's at 15%. <laughs> oh, I needed a fuel pump. Okay. Um, hang on. I want to put the U-bolts... Let's go ahead and put the U-bolts back in. Suspension and brakes. There we go. And got ourselves a hey hey. Man, this was a nice find. Alright, so we've got a good fuel pump. We got it working. Um sweet. Alright. So fuel pump is in. Alright. Nice. Nice, nice. Alright. Um None of that is repairable, I don't think. And this is going to have to be... Uh, let's see here. I'm looking at engine pieces here. So I'm going to take some clips off. Anything that's not 15% or more is going to get trashed. I'm just going to sell it off right. Oh, see that clip A? It's out of here. Those two clips are gone. 
Alright, so let's see here. That clips out, that clips out. So there you go. Those two clips are going to be gone. Okay, that is hosed up. Ignition wires are in bad shape. Tear some of this down and see if we can get... Man, this is rusty and dusty in here, boys and girls. Good thing I gave it a bath. All right. The head looks like it's in rough shape. I don't think I'm going to have anything... I don't think it's going to... I don't think it's going to be worth it for me to take this off. Um... I'm, I'm worried I've, I've paid a lot of money for this and I'm not going to be able to get use the parts that I want. The head is the showstopper for me on this project, so... Yeah, this head looks like it's in tough shape. If it's 15% or above, I will be... It's like the bearings are in bad shape. Let's pull the spark plugs out. I think I've repaired everything I needed for this, so. Slowly but surely take this thing, okay. Yeah, the crankshaft pulley doesn't get repaired. I don't understand that, but I'm good with that. Okay, so take those out. Oh, the cam, or I got one cam gear that was in decent shape. All right, cam gear, cram, crank, camshafts are in sad shape. One of them at 21%. Uh, well, the moment of truth is coming in. There we go. Not one rusty bolt on here. That's interesting. Ah, eight percent. Son of a gun. Ah, all right. So, so much for that. Oh well. It was. It was a shot that I. It was just. It was worth. I was. I don't think it was even worth it, to be quite honest with you, but it was a shot. Here, I'd give it a shot. Um, go ahead and take that half shaft. Well, let's see. What do I have? Um, the battery I'm going to keep. What do I have in here that's worthwhile here? Uh, suspension of brakes, Lotus parts. Um, timing cover, the lower timing cover. Um, is that? I think I can do the timing cover. The lower timing cover. So that's done. Uh, cam gears, no. I can't repair those. Can shaft bearings, uh, cam shaft. Crap, I only have one camshaft worthwhile. Okay. Uh, throttle. Transmission's good, so I'm going to need... I don't think I have the throttle either. Tell you what, let's go over here, and just for giggles, we'll repair, every, repair everything in here. Oh, hang on, I can... I'm going to take that and put that in my uh, engines and exhaust. So let's engines and exhaust. I want to put uh, spark plugs, definitely. Clutch. 
clips, a filter, all that I'm going to put in. Okay, so let's see what we can repair on this. And then we'll see. I'll just put all the parts in there that I can repair. And let's see, Lotus parts. So everything that's repairable, that's 100%. That's it. Holy guacamole. Um, Ooh, I do have a camshaft. Nice. Okay, so that's repairable. Um, let's go ahead and grab that out. Okay, get the camshafts working. All right. So yeah, this is uh, this has been painful for me. Lotus parts. So that goes into Lotus parts. Uh, oh, electronics. Hang on. Electronics. Boom. Get the battery in there. Nothing else is going in there because everything else is pretty bad shape. All right. Uh, Lotus parts. Go ahead and take that out because that's getting pulled. Heads at 12%, and that's just. Oh well. Um, two of those, two of those. I'm going to just go pull everything out of here. See, like, those can't get repaired. And these can? It's like the front of this, but the backs of these can't. That's just. That's just. Oh, that's 11%. So that's the back of it. So I don't have another back. And the front is not repairable. That's interesting. Oh, it is repairable. All right. So it is. Uh -huh. Okay. All right. So the rest of these parts and pieces looks like I can't repair them. So I'm just going to trash them out. Um, wow. Is there anything else underneath here? There is nothing else underneath here. I think I can even salvage. Everything looks really, really in bad, bad shape. So that's not a big deal, though. Let's go ahead and look at our, um, let's go ahead and look at our inventory. Go ahead and, um, let's go ahead and sell all the parts because there's nothing worthwhile. Here we go. Um, 299. Lower this down. And, uh, we are going to sell you off. <laughs> Look at that. Yep, 1971. I, I yanked everything off the motor and I still, I still. Oh, wait a minute. That's the back, right? Yeah. Let's go ahead and pull that off there. Um, oh, the back cover is only 5%. Yeah. Alternators at 15. I'll keep that. We'll go ahead and put that back on there because that isn't even worth it. That wasn't even worth it. Okay. Um, what did I pull off there? Alternator. Okay, so we go into here. Uh, my electronics. Got plenty of alternators, so that's cool. Never short of an alternator. Now, this bad boy is... Hang on, what we got here? Coolant reservoir, I can always, what is, ten percent, yeah, that's what I thought, okay, um, yeah, not even worthwhile, alrighty, what a piece of junk that is, so that is a goner, All right, so that leaves us with just a few pieces um, 
for the Lotus. Now, I can't get any of the engine pieces done just because, yep, I didn't find the head. <sighs> that is what I'm missing there. Um, so, what we need to do is let's go ahead and put the, let's grab a suspension arm. Hang on, let me grab the other one because that, the other one was a piece of junk. There we go. Got that. We'll just get rid of. We'll get rid of pieces as we go along because we know. All right. So we have a nice, have a nice um, a arm, and I think I already bought bushings for it here. Oh, I keep running into stuff. Do I have bushings in there? I think I do. Uh, bushings, yes. Got the bushings. Oh, I can't put the tires on it until after I put the transmission and everything in. All right, so that gets installed. We, we did get the we did get the fuel pump. Got lucky on that one, right? Um, the exhaust I will have to replace, and I think let's see is how far are we with the engine on here um, we are we do have it pretty much all right um, let's go ahead and take this off the stand we do this we're gonna go ahead and take this off the stand we're gonna lower this down And we are going to install this engine. I know it's not complete, but it's complete enough to throw the transmission in it. And the half shafts and the wheels and tires. So get some of this stuff out of my inventory. So I need both of you. I need both of you. And I need the transmission. I think that's all I'm going to need. So we put the transmission in. I'll get the half shafts on. Okay, and I can put the wheels on. Now I can actually put this bad boy on the ground and work on the engine through the engine bay, basically. That's what how I'm gonna do it. All right. <laughs> well, I think that's about as far as I can go on this one, ladies and gentlemen. Um, we don't have, yeah, we just don't have the the head to help that out. And let's see if I can. Yeah, see the back plate. I don't have because it's all messed up. At least I don't think I have the back plate. Yeah, I think the back plate over here was, yeah. So there's still a lot of pieces. Yeah, see, I don't have that. That's the back plate right there, and it was 11%. The other one was in worse shape. Um, does the throttle get repaired? I thought the throttle was, yes, it is. Thank you. Okay, I thought the throttle was repairable. All right, so let's go ahead and prepare ourselves a little bit more here. Um, what do I need? Two cam gears. Um, let's see here. No item selected. Oh, wait a minute. What happened to all my... What? Oh, wait a minute. Oh, crap. What just happened here? What just happened? I sold all my parts. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh jeez. I for how did I do that? I just sold all my parts that I had for this thing. 
All right, so I guess we are down to just about nothing. How much is this thing worth? We may just scrap this thing. Twenty-eight grand. Um, son of a gun! I don't know how I did that. Jeez. All right. Well, yet another stupid mistake by Hearst Quasar. Um, it looks like I've hosed that all up. So now I'm going to have to find. A whole lot more parts for this car, so I hopefully, cross your fingers, I can find another donor car. Oh my god, I can't believe I did this. All right. Okay. That is just stupid. All right. Jeez, I can't believe I did it. All right. Well, I guess that's that's the way it goes in the business. Um, <laughs> Um, I could just start this. I just I could just sell this piece of junk and then start over again, which I may end up doing. I'll let you know in the next episode. I'll tell you that much right now. Um, right now, I'm a little flustered because, dang, I can't believe I did that. Um, but yeah, all right. I'll catch you guys later. I have to like rethink life right now, <laughs> so um, of whether or not I, what I need to do. All right, catch you guys later. I hope you enjoyed the episode. Watch me make mistakes all the time until the next time keep customizing keep throwing those pictures over on facebook i'd love to see them until the next time source quasar saying good night and i am out